Since the first video in the K5 Blazer series, I've taken everything that was on the old frame and moved it back to the back end of the shop here so we've got room in the front end of the shop. Because the plan in this video is to work on the new frame and some of these drivetrain components that need a ton of work. The first thing we need to do is get the new frame in here and get all the stuff that came bolted on it off of it so it can get prepped to have things welded and painted later. Let's get started. There are a few welded and riveted pieces on here that I know we're not going to need. I'm going to remove those while we're at it. Alright, everything has been taken off this thing, so it's time to put up some masking stuff and get this thing taken down to bare metal. Then we can deal with any little imperfection spots that might be obvious on the sides where somebody might see them. And we can clean it up and prime it and paint it. And I'll be painting it with a rattle can, as I've done with everything else that's raw steel that I've dealt with on this channel. So it'll be easy to touch up if we gotta weld stuff to the frame or it gets scuffed or anything like that.
frame is fully done and coated in black enamel paint. Next thing is we're gonna rearrange a bunch of this stuff in here and then get some of these miscellaneous parts going as well as start work on the rear axle. So the rear axle has a few specific things that need attention in addition to just paint on the whole thing. It needs this spring block stack adjusted because it's kind of misaligned right now. The other one, we'll check that out too because that wedge has moved a bit. I'm not sure what kind of setup they did when they lifted this thing, but some things were done wrong. The brakes, we'll look into those a little bit, make sure they're good to go. Other than that, we'll just strip some of this stuff off of it that's in our way and get going on it. And on this side of the shop, Nate's getting our sandblaster working again after a long hiatus, and we're gonna get some of these other parts going that need some attention. brakes are a bit crusty but there's no wheel cylinder issues or any other leakages so I'm gonna do the drums and then paint the axle. and rear suspension parts are all painted and ready to go back together. I did get a couple of new parts. First is new U-bolts. The old ones were cut off at really strange lengths and they were very rusty. It's hard to get a socket on them. They didn't want to come loose. And then I got new axle shims because the old ones were completely beat up. And since they were sliding out of the way, I think when I put it back together, I'm gonna to put them on these center pins here instead of the ones on the bottom of the spring so they'll be under the spring blocks instead of on top of them so that they don't move around and fall out of place again and get the whole axle out of whack in the way it sits under the vehicle. In order to do that I gotta move everything in the shop around so that I can get the frame back on the lift. For whatever reason I didn't remember that brake drums get hot so I painted them with normal paint so we'll see how long that lasts.
right, the frame is on the lift and the axle is fully bolted on under this thing. Got the new U-bolts on there and the new shims on the bottom of the spring blocks this time. I did have to make a little specialty tool here to compress those U-bolts so they can fit through the holes down at the bottom. Other than that, just need to move everything over there, over to here. Thank you so much for watching. In the next video, we'll move on with the rest of the drivetrain stuff. First the front axle, then the engine, tranny, transfer case, all that good stuff.